Hey everybody, it's Trani Unicorn. It's July 27th, 2021. I have a story from my time hanging out at Oasis X Club that is known as the Colorado Boy story. And it is one of the most memorable nights I have ever had in my sexual life. And I wanna tell everybody about it because I still like smile when I think about it, even though it was uh, like two years ago. So on the date, July 31st, 2019, I went to Oasis with my best friend at the time, still my best friend, and we're just there to have a normal night. We went often, we didn't usually, I didn't usually hook up with people. I was there to mostly like look cute in the pool and like maybe like be a bit of a voyeur or like make friends or whatever. So anyways, I go there that night and I'm in a little, like I'm kind of nude, but I don't like hang out naked because I'm just a little shy about it. So I basically have a silk blue robe and I just was like wearing that around while I sat with my feet hanging in the pool. So I was just like kind of sitting on the edge of the pool with my feet in just kind of long blonde hair, everything. And I saw this guy, this like, you know, white guy, like a little younger than me. And I saw him alone and I saw him sitting off to the side. And you know how like, especially as a girl, like you're aware when people are watching you, like you know when people are watching you. And, and I did know that he was scanning the room. Like he clearly was observing his options, I think at that point. Um, and so I was just with my friends, we were laughing, making, you know, lots of fun in the pool. Anyway, so then I decide I'm gonna go and put my stuff down on a lounge chair. And so I go to a place where there's two lounge chairs beside each other and they were both vacant. So I go and I put my robe down and the second I put my robe down, what do you know it? White guy sitting over on the far side who isn't gonna be known as Colorado boy, literally just claims the other seat, which was like right beside it. And I was just like, oh, hi, th hi there. <laughs> Um, and so what I really liked about that moment is I like a guy who shows he's interested because when a guy's interested, go for it, right? Like you just have to. And so anyways, I, I was friendly, but I wasn't like swooning at this point. So I was just like, hi, like I'm, you know, I gave him my name or whatever. And, and then that's the moment when my best friend came out of the pool and she's like, let's go smoke a joint. And I was like, okay, let's go smoke a joint. And so... I am a little rude because I didn't know this guy yet. I didn't really want to invite him because I didn't know him yet. But my friend behind me, she's like, hey, we're going to go smoke a joint. Do you want to come with us? And he's like, sure. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. So we go outside to smoke a joint, which is like a fun part of Oasis because like most of us are naked or like in a towel or something. And there's like a lot of people out there, a lot of single girls too. And I see this guy kind of interacting with the other single girls that were there. And one of the girls asked him how often he came because he, he was a visitor. He said he was lives in the States and he was there on a business trip. And so that she asked how often he came and he, he took a moment and he thought, and then he said about like every five weeks or something. And so the girl kind of her whole body posture changed. She just like obviously became like, like, like she just like became not interested. And I leaned into the conversation and I was like, what was the correct answer? <laughs> and so we all laughed because it was just so clear that he had given an incorrect answer to what she was looking for. So we all laughed. And I think that was like a bonding moment for Colorado boy and I, because I, in a way I was kind of sticking up for him in a really awkward situation where he didn't know anybody. And so that was kind of where like a budding friendship was formed. Anyways, we go back in, um, I put my stuff in the locker and I'm gonna go back out to the pool. And I leave my friends behind me because they're just taking forever. So I go on my own and I go and I sit down and like I wait a couple minutes and then my friend comes bursting to my little lounge, lounge chair and she has her own version of the story, which is parts I'm gonna have to include in audio. So audio? You left first? And then I start talking to him, and I was like, well, like, you know, like, are you, are you interested, you know? And he goes, yeah, of course, like, she's, 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 she's beautiful. And I was like, well, you should make it known. And he's like, okay, you know? Uh, <laughs> I remember yeah, this, yeah. I remember you saying you called him, yeah. He, he was always, like, a younger guy. Well, he, he looked really young, but he ended up being 30, which was good for yeah, you. Yeah. But he looked very young. He had a baby and then, face, I, and, then, yeah. and then I remember coming to the pool and looking at you, and I was so excited. And I think you were like on the chair or something, and I'm like, oh, well, like he's really into you. And you were like, eh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. And I was like, are you kidding me? I remember that part. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I'm like, oh. I was really on the fence. basically how that unfolded is that he 
did come sit with you and talk to you, and we talked for a very long time. And then you guys sat your feet in the water, and then finally he put his hand on your leg, and then I think is when it happened. Yeah, so she's like, oh my gosh. So that guy's like totally down, like totally into you. Like she she talks to me so funny like this. She's like, yeah, like 100%, like A plus. Like like she's like, it's 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 solid, like it's good. And And it's funny because she was so excited, and I wasn't, and I was like, know and she's like like I was just like I was like ruining the moment I got and so apparently she and him had like talked in the hallway and like uh, talked about like hitting on me and stuff and like she she asked if he was interested he said yes she said that he should go hit on me so anyways I feel bad because in the moment she was like so excited to tell her friend like this guy has a crush on you like blah 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 and I was just kind of like lukewarm about it so I feel bad because it ended up um becoming a wonderful night but so anyways she goes back inside um colorado boy comes alone and then sits beside me and it's it's fun it's like we're talking and like i just heard, like i don't know it was like you can tell when someone's eyes are like moving up your body and stuff and like i just you could tell when he's like looking at my legs and like so anyways i um i started to like notice that my body language started to change towards him and that's an indication of interest because I'm, I'm a psychology background, but I didn't know up here I was interested yet. And so I kind of just started like shifting my body and like, like leaning into it. And it was all because I was interested, but I just wasn't letting, my brain wasn't letting me get there. So I was having a good time, but I was nowhere near ready to put this guy's dick in my mouth. I was just like, oh, he gives me some feels, right? Like that's exciting. So anyways, we end up hanging out. Um, I go and sit in the pool with my legs in and I invite him to come and he comes and sits beside me. And at first there's space between us, it changes, but at first we're so, we're just sitting with our legs in the pool and you know, I'm wearing a silk robe, nothing's underneath, you know, and like, you know, we're chit chatting and whatever. And it's funny because my legs were under the water and I remember I had an involuntary movement of my right leg and it hit his leg, an involuntary movement. And he, and I knew, I knew as soon as I touched his leg that he was gonna take that as a green light and he did. And so in a weird way, I caused him to hit on me even though it was accidental. But I, as soon as I touched his leg, he, put his arm, my, my uh, robe kind of was falling down here. So like this, whatever. And so he put his arm, his hand on my arm. And like, I just remember feeling like, like a bit of a buzz of electricity. Like I was just, it was a good feel. And, and then his, his hand kind of like went down and then it went on my leg and then it like moved up my robe, which I'm not going to do on, on camera. Um, you know, and it did, it just gave me the feels. And, um, so then he, he kissed me and, and it was good. And I remember seeing my friend in between kisses. I remember seeing my friend in the pool being like, like looking at me being like, Oh my God, my friend's hooking up. Um, so anyways, we're making out in the pool and, and like, it's really fun. And he asked if I want to go to the third floor, which is basically where people have sex. And I said, sure. And we had talked earlier in the night about how we both like threesomes and like, I'm a, I'm a unicorn, right? I like threesomes. Um, and he said that he, he likes threesomes also and he's always looking for them. And so we both, both also were voyeurs. We both like to watch people have sex. We find it erotic. So anyways, we go upstairs to the third floor to hook up and it's busy. There's people having sex in all these spots. And the only spot available was by the corner and we crawled in there and guess where we were? We were beside a hot threesome right beside us. Hot people having hot sex. And so we were making out and everything. And then at one point, Colorado boy was on top of me and we both put our heads and faced the threesome and enjoyed watching it while he was on top of me instead of having sex because we were like, let's just watch this like this is so good so we actually got to watch a live threesome they actually kicked me with one of their feet like that's how close we were i got to watch a live threesome with this hot sexy man and then he like starts fingering me and like oh my god then i know i'm having sex with him and then it just becomes just a wonderful kind of blissful fog of memory now where you know we de he definitely fingered me i definitely was like really making like some noises i'm pretty loud 
and um he did not eat me out but then again i guess a guy meeting a girl in the sex club like i know i'm clean but like I, I fair enough right like i i get it but yeah so anyways we had really delicious sex and i really liked his cock and it felt really good and like he had sex with me from behind and like i was kind of just like bent over this like like almost like a gym mat type of like thing where people have sex and uh i noticed that people were watching too because the sex was pretty hot so when you're done sometimes you look up and there's like just people kind of watching you um so anyway so we ended up having really really hot sex and kissing and caressing like it really was good and then after we were done the clo like the club was going to close and so i was like he was still in town for one more day and so i gave him my address and he came over the next night before he drove to the airport and so i did see this boy twice uh, i call him a boy but he was 30 at the time and he came over the very next night and you know kind of within five minutes of me opening the door we were basically kissing and having sex and it was great it was wonderful i even recorded a diary a video diary at the time and I, I couldn't post this on its own because it didn't show the whole story of Colorado Boy. I wanted to give the context so that I could deliver this part of the video as a way of you understanding how the, it felt as soon as he left after I fucked him the second night. August 1st, 2019, Colorado Boy just left. And I'm literally sitting here and like I still smell like sex and like I'm high off a joint and I feel like all I can do is relive that whole night again over in my head like so many times. This is why I have sex. This is the kind of sex I like to have. He was so different though. He was so American. Very different. Not in, not nearly as into like ass play it's, and he like didn't touch my ass at all. Even though he knew I liked it. Like it was, you know, he was more of a traditional sex guy I he doesn't he didn't go down on me and I felt okay with it I felt like I like it was just it just seemed to flow anyways I liked him it was fun I really liked that he was just a fucking true ass like good guy gentleman respectful women like made moves was confident didn't hesitate but didn't it wasn't too aggressive like this was like This is why I want to have sex, is this kind of sex. I hope he does message me if he comes back into Toronto sometime, like even if it's like distantly in the future. I think it was fun. I would do it again. But I felt good when he came over and like honestly, he just was sure of himself but not arrogant at all and like, oh, it was delicious. Like and it was in a cute package. It was in a guy who was from Chicago I like that kind of energy. It was a Chicago guy who lives in Colorado now. Denver, Colorado. And humble. I noticed he was very humble. And cute. He had a cuteness about him. And a baby face. Baby face. Even though it was under facial hair, he had a baby face. What? I still smell him. It is like the most hottest thing fucking ever. Cause I'm high and I'm sitting in like my sex soup and like in my energy soup and it's this is when I can't stop smiling. It just <laughs> mm. oh, there's something like having a night with a truly American white boy. Like He was delicious, and he honestly makes me wonder if I might like American men more if I go to, like, Colorado. <laughs> that was fun. If I never hear from him again, it was a fucking awesome experience. So that is um, the story of Colorado Boy. You know, I did have him on Instagram, but, like, he never even followed me back, so it really was... I don't think he ever intended to see me again. And you know what? Some of the some of those uh, encounters you have in life are with random transient people. So I felt like a princess that night. I had the best sex. I was I was flirted with. I was romanced. 
I got the good feelings and the sex and that's like rare for me as a demisexual at a club like this because I take longer. It took him hours of talking with me to, for before I kissed him, right? So I'm really not uh, the normal clientele I think at a sex club, but I'm certainly not alone. There's many people just like me. So, so that's the story of Colorado Boy. I hope one day I'll see him again. I would love to taste that cock again for sure. Uh, until next time.